Often we are asked, what is the difference between acetyl, copolymer acetyl, homopolymer acetyl, and delrin? Acetyl is the general term for the family of plastics within the chemical name polyoxymethylene or POM. Delrin is a POM acetyl, but not all POM acetyls are delrin, nor are all acetyls the same. Delrin is a registered trademark brand name for the most famous homopolymer acetyl resin, which was invented by DuPont. To understand the differences between delrin and other acetyls, we need to review the polymeric structure of polyoxymethylene, the chemical. Palm acetyls are available in two different structures, a homopolymer and a copolymer structure. Both homopolymer and copolymer acetyls are considered semicrystalline polymers, which are made up of repeating chains of molecules or monomers. The homopolymer structure consists of a single species of repeating polymer chains or monomers, while the copolymer consists of two or more types of monomer structures. Delrin is a homopolymer acetyl offered by many manufacturers of stock shapes, and those same manufacturers also offer the copolymer acetyls. So what are the differences? Both homopolymer and copolymer acetyls are very similar in properties and performance, and both offer FDA and USDA compliance, excellent machinability, dimensional stability, high strength and stiffness, and wear resistance. However, the differences in structures do result in some minimal performance differences. The Delrin homopolymer grade offers higher levels of crystallinity due to its tightly uniform molecular structure, which does affect some of the properties. Some of the differences are as follows. Unfilled homopolymer acetyl or Delrin offers approximately 10 to 15% higher strength and stiffness than copolymer acetyls, while copolymer acetyls tend to offer a bit more toughness and ductility. The chemical resistance is generally similar, but may differ depending on the chemical, exposure temperature, and concentration. Copolymer acetyls tend to offer better resistance to chlorine-containing solutions. Copolymer acetyls exhibit substantially greater resistance to hydrolysis or hot water and better dimensional stability, especially after prolonged exposure. The continuous service temperatures for both grades are considered the same, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. However, copolymer acetyl has been reported to resist thermal degradation at higher temperatures better than homopolymer acetyl. Delrin homopolymer does have a higher heat deflection temperature, which indicates it will exhibit higher mechanical properties during short-term exposure. The wear resistance, limiting PV, and K factor are the same for unfilled homopolymer and copolymer acetyls. The machinability of both acetyl grades is excellent. The greater stiffness of Delrin homopolymer does make it superior for small diameter parts and thin walled parts, particularly if being screw machined or manufactured on high speed CNC lays. The cross section of acetyl stock shapes has long been recognized to contain micro porosity along the center line of the rod and plate products. The center line porosity occurs during the extrusion of the stock shapes. Characteristically, copolymer acetyls contain significantly less centerline porosity, but can still exhibit some interconnected microporosity ranging from 100 to 150 microns in the center of the stock shape. This microporosity can result in mechanical weakness and leakage of liquids and gases under pressure. Some stock shape manufacturers of copolymer acetyls claim zero centerline porosity. Regardless, it is far superior to the porosity which is inherent in the Delrin homopolymer acetyl. In summary, customers select Delrin homopolymer acetyl when higher mechanical properties are desirable or when machining smaller parts using screw machines or high-speed lathes. Copolymer acetyl is chosen for applications that require toughness and less centerline porosity or for larger cross sections of rod or sheet. In many cases, the larger sizes are not commonly available in homopolymer acetals due to the porosity in the larger cross sections. In many applications, homopolymer or copolymer will provide similar performance, except when the slight differences between the two are relevant to the application. 
Also, there are numerous grades of filled or enhanced grades of both homopolymer and copolymer acetals available. We will not detail all of these in this video, but they do include grades offering improved wear resistance, ESD properties, metal detectable grades, and more. You will find detailed information on these grades along with the various trade names of acetyl resins and shapes that are available on our company website, Bedeker.com. Please feel free to add your comments below, like and share this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.